Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about these screenshots that have some info that some of you might not have seen before. I'll just kick it off right away. In the top left, we can see Jade, who is clearly an armored axe knight. We saw her in one of the trailers before. Below her, we can see what I think appears to be Clan as a wolf rider. It may very well not be, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It could be Meron because we've only seen them with green hair while engaged with Lynn. Also, we see this little poison debuff looking thing. So that might be a stat debuff from certain enemy attacks or maybe uh, enemy staves as we know they're in the game now. Or it could be related to the quicksand. However, the wolf rider here isn't actually in quicksand as far as I can tell meaning that it probably isn't related to that, but I could be wrong. It could be showing movement debuff or taking damage over multiple turns. We also see on the right that there's pickups from the ground, these purple and yellow ones, kind of like from Awakening, where one of them might be XP, the yellow one and the other one items. And then we also see these enemies as wolf riders, which is interesting and nice to know that we'll be getting a lot of varied enemy types. And one is actually holding an axe. So that means that they're not all going to be having daggers like we've only seen so far. Some will be using axes. So it really does look like any unit type can kind of use any weapon. But not necessarily they'll be able to switch between them. They'll just be different variations of them. Here we can see Byleth doing his big boy engage times pulse shenanigans. I'll go to the next image because it's a bit clearer of everything. So we can also see that Yunaka actually seems to have C support with Alea. So unsurprising that Alea will probably have support with everyone like most games with the protagonist having supports. We also can see a reasonably clear image of Lucina, which is nice, and it's always lovely to see her. And then we can see the dual staves, which we have seen in previous videos, but it's really interesting to know that a lot of characters will have access to multiple types of staff. So this will probably be green for healing and support staff and red for damage and, you know, ones related to harming enemies in some way, whether that be in trap or freeze or something like that. In this next image there isn't really too much to go over, it's just another desert map with quicksand etc and we can see that Amber who we have seen once before and that is supposedly their name, who we can see is an armoured cavalier so probably a great knight and he is able to use swords. We don't see any other types of weapons currently so he may be restricted to those but that's probably unlikely as they always have access to multiple weapon types in the past. Next we see Hortensia on the left paired up with Corin but we get nice clearer images, I mean not that clear, but clearish images of Roy, Leaf and Makaya, which again is nice to see. We can see that Hortensia has supports B, C and B, so she has supports unsurprisingly with her retainers both being on B, and then C with a layer. Lapis, who is one of Alcrest's retainers from Brodia, who is originally kind of Myrmidon class, appears to have turned into a paladin who is able to use swords, which is interesting. And we have Goldmary using a spear. So we basically are getting confirmation that heroes can use spears unless she's changed class, I'm not 100% sure. But in the next image, we can actually see her using a spear once again. And it doesn't look like she's changed class. And then here's just Corrin using her engage skill. And this is also what appears to be Alquist and his promoter class. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like his armor inside and we see his blue cape on the outside as well. The promoter class Tira Delete, I think. I'm not pronouncing it perfectly, but you know. In this one, we can see Louis engaged with Lynn. And obviously he's got the green hair and her outfit and everything. We see him use Lynn's create copy skill. And we can also see that he is a general, so his promoter class. If we look closer here, we can also see who I'm calling Halloween Girl because of her very strange face makeup. And she's paired with Selica and she's using a tome and a staff. So she looks like she is a promoted magic class here. And then next we just see Tamara using Lynn's Astra Storm. And it is being used against one of the demonic beast looking things. It's just a large monster unit. So we get a closer look at one of them. All of them seem to have a kind of fiery stomach of some kind, whether that be blue or red. We can see that they spit fire, so they definitely have more than one range, I would imagine, to both counter-attack and attack with. And then this final image, we see the most important news, that Lumera appears to be playable. That is very surprising to me. I honestly didn't expect that. It's kind of like Rhea being playable in a way. I know she was in some missions, but it really looks like here that you're controlling her which is super, super interesting. It really looks like this is a pre-combat animation showing up on the side and this is the top of her head. So, wow, I'm very surprised she's playable and it looks like she's holding a sword. So she may use swords and magic or something or maybe even has some dragon powers, but we'll have to see about that. 
Sorry, this is a late addition to the video, but I thought I should put this in. A lot of people are saying that they think Lumera will actually be dead after the tutorial and that this is just a tutorial bit of the game that they're showing a screenshot of. That seems quite likely as it does kind of seem like she will die prior to the game really starting. So you might get a tutorial section before Alea falls asleep to kind of show you how everything works, like engage abilities and whatnot, prior to you beginning the game. So that's all for today. Let me know if you saw anything that I didn't. Thanks very much for watching. I'm going to make a video talking about all the class types there are and I'll be posting that in the next few days. Have a lovely rest of your day and see you soon. Bye.